Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode of Final Fantasy X. We're gonna get ready for a boss battle. Yeah, it's gonna be real rough. I don't know what we're gonna do. I really don't. Farewell. We probably should farm for about eight hours. That's how <laughs> bad this is gonna be. No, this shouldn't be bad. But there are some few tips and tricks to getting this taken care of. Um... This is a basically what we're getting ready to do is we're getting ready to do a summoner battle. Yeah, Woo. and it's it's not that bad. No, it's not too bad. There is a strategy though. Yeah, um, what's this, what's their strategy? Their strategy is the fir with the first Aeon that you fight. Um, the first thing he brings out is an Ifrit, and you think right away, oh my god, I should bring Shiva out. The problem is his overdrive is maxed out, and he does his super attack first. Mm -hmm. So he'll kill Shiva in one shot, which makes it kind of worthless to even burn her out right away. So the first thing we're going to bring out is Valfor, because if he dies, who the fuck gives a shit? <laughs> you know what I mean? So it is you. Why are you here? We rode the airship to the Calm Lands, then came to Bevel. Maester Kinnock summoned us then ordered us to deal with the traitors. You will fight us. The temple's orders are law. Even if you are Lord Braska's flesh and blood. You're a traitor. His guardians, I don't see them. Maroda and Passe are not here. I will do this unhappy deed myself. Forgive me, Lady Yuna. Yeah. So like I said, he'll summon Ifrit. And like I said, Ifrit's overdrive is uh, maxed out. And the first thing he'll use is his Hellblaze attack. <clears throat> guys, I don't know about you guys, but when I farm, I, I fill up their uh, gauges. Your mine. It's always helpful to, to use. So I would summon Valfor. So just and so the first thing you'll want to do is, well, he'll probably die, but you want you want to do is guard yeah. because he might survive the attack. He ain't gonna survive. No. Because if he does survive, at least by then you'd be able to use your overdrive, he do some damage. Or Megan Knight's gonna lose all that progress on his drive. He's gonna lose it all. Shield. Yep. Hope you get another turn. <laughs> Shield. So we're dead. I don't know, with us shielding, we might be alright. Take this. Holy shit! He did 2,000 damage by attack him? I wonder how much health he has. Is it even worth it? To me and the sensors. You were wondering how much health he has? Yeah, uh, he has 8,000. Okay, well then we can kill him normally. Like that. And then use the overdrive on the next cocksucker. Motherfucker. Well, the next, you'll, next Aeon. No! No! Don't you tell me it's Valley Forge that we have. We have to summon a new guy. We have to summon a new guy. God damn it! And you want to we'll, summon Bahamut. Well, at least we'll have this guy to use with someone else. In. Why do we want Bahamut? Um, because the next thing he throws out is Bahamut, and we can't use Bahamut next battle. So you might as well use I mean, Bahamut does this he, battle. Does he just use the whole roster, or what? No, he only uses three. Foul four and then Bahamut. That's it, huh? Yep, that's it. What an interesting combination that is. Yeah. Now we get to see the Bahamut summon! Yeah! Yeah, because we weren't going to see him. We haven't seen him before, ever. Ever. In any game. 
He's this is the first game Bahamas in this one right here. Hell in seven he had like three fucking versions, that's how much they love Bahamas. I think he has two versions in this game. Does he? Yeah, I think Neo Bahamut is the other one. Mmm. Oh, you ain't got nothing, bitch. Ass. He has 12,000 health. You're just gonna have to pick and choose who you're gonna wanna do. Um, I mean, I think probably she would probably be the best. Why would she be the best? Because everyone knows dragons are are scared of cold. <laughs> is that, just that, because, is like, that she's what it is? well, because first of all, she's your favorite, and second yeah. of all, because uh, she's the last summon to get before Bahamut. Okay. So she should be the strong ghost. And dragons breathe fire, so they're scared of the cold. I cannot let you pass. You might as well let us pass, bitch. Mm. Yeah, so he has 20,000 health. Yeah. Um, he won't attack. He'll wait five turns to fill his overdrive gauge and then do a... Uh, Crazy Mega Flare, Perfect which you'll want to guard against. But it tells you, it'll it'll bring up a number and be like one, two, you know, like how many more turns until he... Yeah. He's immune to everything. Five. Yeah, so he won't attack until he's done. Counting down. Yeah, now we're talking. Looks like we get two turns though, so we'll be shooting twice. But we'll get to see Mega Flare. Because we will never get a chance to see Mega Flare. Yeah, yeah. Gonna burn. So you thought this was gonna be hard? I it was difficult for me because I was under leveled. Just shield at the right moments. Yeah. Just gotta shield at the right <laughs> moments. Under leveled my ass, boy. Yeah. <sighs> Stay away. Yuna, let's go. No. There's a way to the surface up ahead. Next boss is even more difficult. Your pilgrimage is over. No, it's not. It's gonna take at least three episodes to beat this boss. It takes like a minute less than. And you throw 30 Phoenix seconds. down, you jackass. I'm just kidding around. <laughs> Because he's undead. He's an undead fish monster. Yeah. 
All right, well, we're gonna go swimming next time. Yeah, and we're gonna In kill the pool a, of despair. Kill a boss with some healing items. <laughs> fun, fun. We'll see you guys next time.